You're watching Cheery TV. Howdy, howdy, everybody, and welcome back to Can We Cook It, where we try our best to cook it in Cooking Simulator VR. Today, we're here making some of the most delectable, scrumptious meals the world's ever seen, and hopefully, it should be a bit easier than the last couple have been. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am, of course, talking about cheeseburgers. Everyone loves a good cheeseburger. Cheeseburgers, can we cook it? Let's find out. So I feel like it's a pretty obvious start here, at least for the buns. Uh, duh, hamburger. Well, they're only tops. We need a bottom. Okay. First things first, as every good chef would have, is an ingredient bucket. You know, no, no sane chef just grabs a pool of onions to go dump on the table over there. No, that's not how this works. So we're going to get our, our basic stuff first. So first of all, we're going to make... Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna make three burgers today. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to just cut some bread to make the, the rest of the bottoms for that, because I have no idea. If it, <laughs> if it is a potato big enough? No. If it was big enough, I could have just sliced it that way. What's what's nice and big? That's the same thing. The bottom's gonna be the soggy bit, so you don't really care too much about that. So we have our bread. And instead of doing multiple buckets, we're just gonna dump everything out into individual stations today. There we go. Now we're genius. So first, now we need the meat. So let's open up the fridge. And look at that. So, ah, they already have cut up hamburger for me. Oh, this is going to be pretty easy. Uh, but, but let's, 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 let's mix things up though. If I want a beef chunk, I'm going to try to make my own. I'm going to make, I'm going to do one where it's very obvious what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to do one where I try to test the waters a little bit. And then one that just doesn't make any sense at all probably. So we're going to see. So we got beef chunk for meat number two. And meat number three, let's do, let's do a steak. This is going to be a mix. This is going to be a, we're going to have an expensive burger as well. Very expensive burger. Okay, so we're having chaos burger, regular burger, expensive burger. There we go. That's good. Now it's time to grab the cheeses. So obviously for a standard burger, you're going to go for like a standard cheddar. Doesn't mean anything too special there. The, the fancy people though, the fancy people love their gorgonzola, their blue cheese. And it's more green to them. And you know what green is the color of? That's right. Lime. We're also money. So fuck the lime. We're not dealing with lime today. No one wants lime. So we have two cheeses, and then for our fucking wackadoo, we'll just, we'll just grab chunks of stuff. We're just gonna grab all the loaf-like eye objects and make them into a burger. It's gonna be grand. Sure, a bacon for each one. Maybe even some more. Who doesn't want... This, this isn't bacon. I'll deal with you later. I won't. We can't overload it too much on the cheese. Dude, what the fuck is that? What is this? Is that a fish? There's like a... Beetle? We're putting a beetle in one of them. So now, now we can close the fridge. I think we're no. Oh no! What have I done? Close the fridge. A terrible day to let the cold out. <clears throat> just, just ram myself into the fridge. I don't want to work. There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna clean this up, and then I'll meet you guys in a second. All right. So we have like our our frozen toppings in the works: cheese, bacon, beetles. Everyone loves those things. So now we need to get sort of the more fresher ingredients because you know if that's what like, that's what we're here for. That's what is lettuce in the fridge. Well, lettuce is probably in the fridge, but tomatoes aren't. This is a small tomato. I think people put a huge slice of tomato on their burger. This isn't going to be big enough, uh, but we'll figure it out. We'll work. We'll make it work. You guys get you guys get two openings this time. Pretty pretty rare. Oh fuck. There we go. Can't make it a good opening, otherwise. Ugh. Ooh, shrimp. Shrimp's very rich. Very rich in flavor here. Okay, so is there any lettuce? Are you it's, it, I mean, Brussels sprouts are just tiny, like, tiny lettuce, you know? Yeah, I could, I could see that. Hold on, I'm gonna, gonna get to play a little minigame. A little, a little shy. Ooh, we're getting close. Ooh, just off. Anyway, let me try my other hand. Let me try, let me try, let me try black hand here. Oh. Oh! <laughs> fucking nailed that. Look at that. <laughs> this looks sad. <laughs> Do you put mushrooms on them? For fancy people put mushrooms on their burger. Uh, that's okay. So I got meat to think for. So we have our lettuce and tomato for our basic burger. Uh, mushrooms and what else? Let's just take like red cabbage instead of lettuce. Rice vinegar. That sounds fancy. No, it's rice. Hold on. Rice isn't fancy. 
wine vinegar. No, that's fancy. We'll get something nice and okay. Soy sauce is definitely going on the chaos burger. That's just gonna happen. Uh, what's this? Red wine? Oh, just straight up wine? <laughs> water? <laughs> Put water in the burger? Okay. Barbecue sauce? Okay, that can go on like the basic boy burger, I guess, or just ketchup. Well, it's definitely not gonna be the barbecue sauce, folks. Do we need mustard? We'll get mustard. Get the fuck out of the way, would you? You're blocking my mustard. Okay, so you already kind of grabbed our condiments, but condiments... Okay, so we... Should we set it up by... We'll set it up by station. That was so fucking on point with the music. That was awesome. <laughs> we have most of the things we need. We have our breads. So we might have to get fancier bread. Is there any fancier bread? We might have to look for some fancier bread. But other than that, we have a fancy, we have our normal, we have our bacon cheeseburger, we have our bizarre, we have our beef chunk with goat cheese and bug, and then we have steak, or blue cheese, and shrimp on this burger. It's going to be delicious. For, for the regular burger, obviously less than tomato, uh, followed by mustard and ketchup, and it kind of flips on you. You don't expect it to flip. It doesn't really flip. It kind of just goes like that. So there, there we go. <laughs> Uh, we have the mustard and ketchup, of course. Maybe some onions, too. Probably going to get onions. Uh, but for now, obviously, for the fancy, we have our mushroom and our red cabbage, followed by the wine vinegar. However, we don't have any bizarre toppings, so we have to grab some top. Where's an onion? What does an onion look like? Are you an onion? Very tiny onion. Uh, you know what? Lemon? I feel, I feel lemon. Okay, so we get lemon. Let's get chili peppers. Making a nice spike. Why are they all so tiny? We are on a very limited budget. And is this a cucumber? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Who needs pickles when you got cucumber? I like that. So now we have three ingredients. We have three toppings. We have a lot. These are going to be some very thick burgers, but that's what you like to see. If you're paying a price, it doesn't even matter how premium. If you're paying a price, folks at home, you don't want to be overcharged. Uh. Yeah, Chief, I don't really see some fancy bread. Put some beer in it. Beer-soaked bread? Beer is for losers. The wine is where the fancy man is. Then we'll have our sort of more interesting... We have our basic. Should we soak our basic one, too? We'll just soak that bread in wine. Yeah, it's delicious. You can really see the red. It's like a nice glaze. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so it's time to get started, I guess. We probably should have gotten started with this a bit while ago, but now we have all of our ingredients laid out, it's gonna be a lot easier. We're not just gonna throw an entire steak on the patty. We need to have it kind of be like this size. So we gotta, we gotta do a little bit of cutting. I think that chunk right there would be a perfect burger. I'm just gonna go at it. Did that, uh -huh, okay, we gotta cut. We gotta cut, we've reached a hole. And just chop that off. Perfect. It's like a burger. Uh, I could do a little bit more cutting. Yeah, we can kind of get rid of a lot of extra. Right, there we get rid of that. And if I just come over here. Perfect. That's basically a burger. No, yeah, wait, wait, we, we made a burger. We made a steak burger. The rest of this can be thrown out. Or if you have a dog, give it to your dog. Don't waste meat. Unless you don't have a dog, you can waste all the meat you want. I have such a long thumb! Oh my god! I was made to be a chef or a thumb wrestler in a, in a, in a next life. That's pretty, pretty burger sized. I'm okay with that. Throw the rest of that away before it spoils on you. Thank you. And I know, I know, a lot of people put their cheese on with the burger. However, I mean, we'll try that. We'll try it with our chaos burger or a regular burger. Regular burger is supposed to be the most plain Jane way of doing a burger. So you know what? Let's do it. This is a little too small for what I'm trying to do. Christmas? Again? Why is it autopilot to Christmas? That's pretty profesh. I thought that- Oh no, the void! Oh, the void! I'm so sorry! No, I won't hurt you again. Everyone, everyone, everyone apologize to the void. I'm so sorry. Don't do this. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Okay, we're fine. Classic radio. Perfect. Goat cheese is going to be a lot easier to cut. It's literally just a, a slam. There we go. And we'll save the fancy one. We won't we won't melt the cheese into the fancy one just yet. We need to cook one side. I never actually made a burger before, so I have very little idea of what I'm doing. But all I know is to just have this and be like, eh. Doesn't that smell good, huh? My father texts me. 
And he got from his father before him. Ah, I just smell that grease. That's what the boys are here in the yard for. So I uh, just, just kind of want to gauge it by just poking it. You know, make sure it's nice and cooked. Are you cook? Oh, shit. Are you cooking? Okay, you're like half. You're almost done. Oh, God, these are almost done. Okay, we keep on steak cooks fast. Okay, so we want to flip that. Keep on steak's not getting any meat or any cheese. This one is getting cheese. So we got to get that on there now. There we go. Very delicious. It's like a Lunchable. People and Steak is getting up there. Oh, he's already, like, done. Like, done done? All right, I'll take the T-Bone off. T-Bone's... T-Bone cooks fast. I don't buy it. It's the thickest piece of meat we have there. There we go. Now you're cooking with portals. Are you done? Burger is to perfect. Oops. Uh, it's fine. Just, just let it continue. Give me the burger. Give me the... There we go, we did it. <laughs> oh, ooh, hey, smooth. Kids! They're almost done. Oh my god, it's very tense. <laughs> the fucking burger's not cooking. The, the, the cheese isn't nothing. What the fuck are we gonna do? Melt! No! <laughs> Just, ah! <laughs> You're not the spatula! We did it. Ah, we have our burgers. And I gotta say, that, oops. I gotta, I can you, I gotta say, that cheese, that burger burger looks pretty good. That's like perfect. The beef chunk is good. The steak got a little burnt, but I mean, those, those rich fucks like it well done anyway, you know? Just a nice basic, just a basic arrangement, okay? Go over there. Oops, I hit the top of that. Uh, you know, we'll just nice pizza plate. We'll, we'll serve them all as like a little little trip around the world, you know. Okay, we can't we can't show any bias either. Get rid of that. Get rid of that butt. No one wants the butt of the bread. That can go over there in the darkness. It can, it can slide behind the counter and never be seen again until you move them in like eight years. And you're like, holy shit, is that from the time we made burgers? Because we never did this again. No one makes burgers more than once. Where's our spatula? Because we don't want to touch these. We, this, is, this is a delicate process. Cheese back off for now. On. Bun. Bam. Uh, we're going to edit this out. Bam. There we go. It's perfect. Get the cheese on there. Oops, sorry. I was supposed to be with a spatula. Get the cheese on there. Mm. Our rich boy steak. Uh, it's a little too big for the bun, but it fit perfectly. They like hand movements. They're, they want a nice precise plate. And then, of course, uh, this brand. Already a fantastic start. This is looking pretty good. So we have the, the cooking done, basically. Now it's, oh no, we still have, we have this stuff to cook. This can all go in a frying pan. It can kind of just cook for a while. All the flavors can coexist. I'm okay with this. Onion, you just need like a little, a little piece. These are perfect. These are like the perfect tiny little crunches that you expect from a burger you're being too loud okay so now we need to get the lettuce in there okay we have our oh we should also get the cheese i guess on the fancy burger that just makes sense so we just need the bottom of that perfectly burger sized piece of gorgonzola that can go in the trash that's disgusting we lay out our lettuce perfectly on top as if nothing is wrong see like the see the, the problem with this though is that the bun is lopsided naturally just because of the top nature of it so everything's gonna start falling off but you know that's not my problem i didn't order the burger i just said let's make a burger and all we need to do now is put the bacon on it and it's basically done basically done number one burger let's get on to the fancy burger what do we got here okay i just cut it in half that's fine that's not what i asked but there okay we need this one this is the one this is the piece get the fuck out of the way this is the piece. This is this is the piece that I'm going with. Get all those little rough and tough edges off. There we go. Eggplant and cabbage is on. All we need now is the top of the mushroom. I don't know what they put on here. I think just the tops. It's a very, very top heavy burger. I gotta say. Definitely points off for how top heavy that is. They're gonna think it's pickles. 
but we all know it's cucumbers. Just very, very confused sandwich here. Very nice. Some pickles on there, but not really. Uh, we just need a little bit of spice. The spice, I guess, can just be a powder, right? I mean, cayenne pepper. You know what? We got a little both. So again, if you're following the recipe at home, you gotta make sure you get both cayenne and chili powder. Double dump, and uh, I don't wanna get all four corners of each ingredient. Now I'm just gonna get some lemon, uh, which we could just zest it, but I feel like it's best to just get a nice chunk, but I don't think I'm gonna get that. So I think this will have to do, this will do. There we go, okay, so we have our random, we have our vegetable ingredients on there. Of course, we have our lettuce, tomato, and onion on our basic burger. We have for our chaos burger, our cucumber, lemon, and pepper. And then we have uh, mushroom, cabbage, and eggplant on the fancy burger. So now it's time to get our extra ingredients out of here. That looks a lot more red. Is that lobster? That's supposed to be fucking lobster the whole time? Lobster tail. I thought it was a beetle. I could have sworn that was like a fucking like a giant cockroach or something. This feels more fancy than the shrimp now, but I don't... It's going on the chaos burger. <laughs> Some of this, I don't, that feels disgusting. It's perfect. <laughs> nice. You know what? Just just the glob of, of the, on the top will be grand. Delicious. Uh, the bacon, very, very easy. Get the two best pieces, which is definitely these two. Trust me, I'm a doctor. And the shrimp, go on like that too. Leave the poop sack in. They deserve poop sack. Okay, this is... I gotta say, somehow, it is the smallest stack, it is falling over the most. I think we have to go for a for a non-regular bun, which I know is very counterculture, but it's literally not gonna hold itself. That's too thin. It's literally not gonna be able to hold itself. It's it's not. It already hasn't. I have to grab all this and start Oh <sighs> The tower is fallen. Oh no. No, my burgers, my delicious. Okay, you know what? I know what the ingredients are for each one. Let's just start over. Let's just start it all over. Okay, we only need one mushroom. I don't know why we put, did we put two on there last time? We're an idiot. Then the shrimp, we're just gonna finish this burger off. We're not gonna finish, finish it. We're just gonna have it fair and ready. A proper hunk of lettuce, so. There we go, that looks nice. Lettuce works how it is. Fucking, get out of the way. There we go. Oh, fucking what? How? The classic burger just does not want to be made. Uh, we're definitely keeping the... Just one more step. Condiments. Mustard. Ketchup. The basic boy's burger. I don't know why it's going on the plate. It's his wine vinegar. Soy sauce. Onto our special. It's just disgusting. Oh, it's so vile. Oh, yes. Tasty, but we'll we'll refresh it with some water. We're, we're literally just washing it off. All we need to do now is tell us to fuck off. <laughs> we need a top bun. Beautiful burgers. I mean, I've never seen anything quite like them. Truly delicious. Okay, I can't lie, actually. Those look pretty delectable. Imagine some of the lettuce staying on that burger. That might actually look pretty good. Oh my god. It's actually still on there. It's barely. You know what? I feel like maybe just, just, just for sanity's sake. We have that on the side too. We already have some stuff on the side for everybody else. Uh, this one is not going to stay. I have my doubts. No, oh, and they were rightfully placed. Oh no. It's okay. We can fix it. No, we can't fix it because it's ruining the structure and taking everything else. Okay. Burgers down. We did it. I'm going to attempt to bring it to a stool so I could spin around it like a ballerina. Oh, it's terrifying. It's terrifying. It's slowly, slowly, slowly. The Chaos Burger? It has somehow sustained itself far and away the best. Like, I don't know where the fuck this- where did this come- why- but if you look, only one actually stayed in shape. And it was the Chaos Burger. 
Like, how the hell did the Chaos Burger survive again? Like, this is a regular burger. It's, I tried my best to just make a burger that the game would approve of. And it, and it didn't even... It, it's horrible. Like, this... Everything was just too thick, I guess. I could have probably sliced it in half. But even then, I don't think I would have done much. Something to do now. And that's... See what the people think. So I'm gonna leave it there while I just go on my knees and look for a dish. We're gonna see... Aha! Uh -huh, there, 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 there we go. Hamburger. What the fuck is that saying? Zamo weenie? Is it German? I, mean, I just I just tried that, but I basically put everything... Look. Cheddar, ketchup, onion, tomato, no lettuce. But I tried my best with the lettuce, and the lettuce didn't even really make it onto the burger. I made their burger, and it didn't work. That is not... That is, but first of all, that's disgusting. Do we want to try to individualize each burger? I do. I was going to serve all three burgers, but we should probably individualize them. Get them all on. Let's get each one on a plate for itself. Ooh! Hold on, I might be able to save the classic burger. Absolute precision. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, the game's starting to lag. We just need to shave the top off this guy. There we go. There we go. I am so smart. Okay. You're going to be our classic burger, I guess, since you're already up for serving. What is this? That's the tomato? What the fuck happened to the tomato? Okay, it looks... It's like covered in yellow. Did it get diseased? Cheese next. We're gonna, we, it's like we're fucking playing Jenga. We're trying to make sure nothing falls off. Ah! Just a little green. I just want a little green in there. That's all I'm asking. Okay, a little bit of green. That's enough green. I think I put onion in here too, but it, I don't I don't know where that is anymore. Tomato. Done. Look at that burger. Look at that burger. That actually looks amazing. That actually looks fucking awesome. I'm ready to serve that. Mwah! Beautiful. Zero te... Huh? But it's a burger. Hamburger mustard? You didn't want mustard? Well, fuck you. It's mustard. It's what's Salt and pepper. It's salty enough! Missing onion? Okay, well, that's my bad. Undercooked bun? What? Tell me to cook the bun? Bitch, it's already a bun. It's bread already. They didn't want bacon. It's too cold. Fuck you. It's not too cold. It's delicious. Okay, that's rude. I'm sure the next guy who wants a burger will be so much nicer. Uh, our fucking, I guess, our fancy burger. Let's do fancy next. I'm only going to give it whatever actually survived to get over here. So we'll, we'll just, it's going to be a bit easier on it. I think it literally is just T-bone steak, gorgonzola, and a piece of shrimp. Like, that's all that survived. And then, obviously, bam. So there it is. There's our fancy burger. I mean, listen, it's not what they asked for, but that ought to make them happy. That's a thick burger. I still have the realization time. Uh-huh. Good. And I know it's still zero. Flavors. They had no complaints on the flavors. Yes! They didn't want bread, they didn't want steak, they didn't want gorgeous, they didn't want shrimp, they didn't- They were missing the tomato, not the onion, strangely enough. The onion was- was still somehow showed, as did the salt and the pepper they wanted, and it popped up. They loved the flavor of that burger. So Fancy, despite being chaotic, actually wound- is, is winding up to be the- the front runner here. But we still do have one more burger. If I can go like a bit more down- there we go! Ladies and gentlemen, we've got- we've got it. It kind of just looks like spam, and then some pickles, but it's not, it's not pickles, it's not, you wish it was pickles, but it's not. And then we have some lemon in there for some zesting. If you want to zest your own burger, go for it. Well, let's see what they think about that. And again, they like the flavor more of the fancy burger, so maybe the chaos burger will be just what they're looking for. Sayonara burger. Again, they're confused. That's fine. Or do they think... Once again, ladies and gentlemen, they love the flavor. All that stuff, they didn't want it. However, they didn't say no to the t to, to the lemon or the, the lobster beetle. They just wanted some tomato in there. Which, honestly, not bad. Like the other one, they mentioned they didn't want any of the ingredients on there. They didn't want the gorgonzola. They didn't want the, 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 the steak. They didn't want all that. They still don't want all that, but they were okay with more of the burger. So I think, somehow, the Chaos Burger take, took Supreme. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, we made our three burgers, and the, the consensus is in. Census. The, the, the jury is out, and now it is back. And they're saying, classic is not the way to go. You want to make your burgers funky, fancy, and stupid, arguably. They loved the fancy burger, but they loved the chaos burger even more, which is honestly just, just beautiful. I said we get back to this. You know what? Just, just to see, just, just out of curiosity, if you want a fourth burger, <laughs> it's a bowl. <laughs> it's a bowl. <laughs> what are up? That's our fourth burger for today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure they love it. I'm sure they adore it. Wow, actually, actually the best complaints of the day. They didn't want the steak, which I totally thought was fish. They just wanted their other stuff on. I have no idea, but temperature and flavor was on point. They loved all of it. So somehow, all right, never mind. Fuck burgers. Just eat, just serve them floor raw, raw floor meat, ladies and gentlemen. Raw floor meat takes the day. I guess that's it, everybody. So can we cook? A burger in cooking some VR? Yeah. It's as simple as opening the fridge and just... There it is. That's your next five-star meal. Gordon Ramsay, be on the lookout. It's a tip note that, that, that chefs don't want you to know about. I swear one day we'll actually make food. I'm trying my best. I really tried today. <laughs> like I tried more than the other days, for sure. See you next time on Can We Cook It? Bye for now.